Hi, everyone. Again, welcome, welcome to From All Angles, the talk show with a difference. This is part two of our, our two part series with our special guest, Bethan Codrington. And we spoke with her last time um, from her journey from being into the crack house to God's house. I am your host, Minister Patricia Hansen, and I'm joined by my co host, Bishop Dr. Everell Ainsley. And as I said, our special guest is um, Bethan Codrington. Now, um, welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome, Bishop, again. Welcome. Yes, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome Bethan, again. Glory be to God. Um, you know, this, this series could not be a half an hour or a one part series because when God is doing his thing, someone needs to receive what God has in store for them. You know, and in your first part of our, our interview, you shared just some of the things and I could see the raw emotion on you. And I'm telling you, it, it, it took me really hard and I know Bishop can share the same sentiments. But one of the things that the Lord laid on my heart and you know you must have ran into some of your um past um you know persons that you've harmed or that, that knew you from back in the day and you know the enemy like to remind you of your past when you clean yourself up when you get yourself back together there's always someone say i know her she used to be a crackhead i know her she used to be a whore and um, she thinks she's a minister now she thinks she's a pastor i knew you from back in the day could you share with us the lord wants you to highlight that because the devil will try to come and tell somebody glory be to god that is watching us today that yes oh you're still a whore you're still up you're still in the crack house and god he said what when I set you free, you're free. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God, you're free indeed. The devil will remind you, glory be to God. But God is saying, just share with somebody that experience because somebody needs to know that it's going to happen to them. But people want to remind you, glory be to God. God, because yes. there's a few instances. And it's been, mm -hmm. okay, so I didn't know about cell phones. This is how deep I was in. I didn't know about microwave. I didn't know about DVD players. I didn't know about anything like that. So I was in, in, in a crack house, in a drug house. And there was I was doing two men. I was giving one man oral sex. One man was behind me. Matter of fact, three, four, a few men. And the drug dealer was taking pictures of me. He was taking a, a video of me. So um, I didn't know it at the time. So I had, you know, been saved and I had started my show. It was called Only You, God. And so uh, I was going through the class and so I passed it and I started, I was getting ready to do my first show. And so somebody had inboxed me on Facebook and said, Beth Ann. I need you to look at this. I'm like, what? Just look at it. It's on Facebook. Wow. I looked at it. It was a video of what I was doing back then. Oh, my goodness. They put it on Facebook. Mm -mm. They put it on Twitter. They put it on Instagram. I didn't know nothing about Twitter or Instagram. I said, they said it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram. I said, well, what is that? All I knew was Facebook. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I said, I can't. I can't do the show. I can't. He says, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I have you. Wow. He took away my guilt. He took away my shame. The Holy Ghost stepped in, and he delivered me of that. Amen. Said, you know what? That was my past. And you know what? I, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He took it right away from me because I was so humiliated. Mm -hmm. But he reminded me how he took all that humiliation and nailed it was nailed to the cross. He took all that guilt and nailed it to the cross. He took every sin and everything that, that I ever did wrong and it was nailed to the cross all them years ago. Yes. So yeah. yes, they, yes, they, they, yes. I had drug dealers coming up on you. Oh, B, you owe me that hundred. Where's my hundred and fifty dollars? I said, take it up with Jesus. I don't mm. owe nobody. All that's gone. Yeah. Then my grandson and his mother put on Facebook that I'm still turning tricks. I'm still smoking crack. I'm an undercover hoe. Um, I'm cheating on my husband. I'm stealing his money, smoking crack. 
and people would inbox me and say, um, what's going on with you? I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, look at, look at this post, look at that post. I didn't know it was on Facebook. And I, and, and I had mm-hmm. to tell them, listen, stop inboxing me. Y'all believe what you want to believe. So yes, it does come back at you. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, the devil is going to throw all that up in you to try to throw you off. Mm-hmm. You know, but you got you got to know who you are in Christ. You have to know who you are. You mm-hmm. you got to know who your daddy is, and I know who my father is. Yeah, you, you know. But back then, I I had to find out. I you you know because I was newly saved, and it it, it almost broke me, but it didn't break me. It just made me. So there there are going to be things God didn't promise that everything was going to be all right. And James, it says, when trials and tribulations come, mm-hmm. it didn't say if they come, it said mm-hmm. when they come. Yes, so yeah. this, yes, why yes. Reading, this mm-hmm. is why reading the word of God is so important mm-hmm. because it teaches us how to live. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because we have to take, we have to come from living. It, 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 the Bible also said if um, that when we're new, when we're a new creator, creation in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. So we have to find out how them old things be, become new. And if we're not in the word of God, reading and, and learning about how the old things become new, then we won't know that we got to go through this. Yes. We, won't know, we won't know when these things come and hit us, how to, the Lord said, ask me for wisdom and I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you all the wisdom you need. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how to Get out of this situation. I, I, there, there's seven ways of escape. The, if this one will work, try that one. Then try it. Then, and I bet you that seventh one will work. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah. you can read the real. We got to know Jesus for ourselves. Amen. Amen. Betty, I, I want to follow up on that too because that is so striking. Um, because you have family member who still hold you in the past. Oh, oh I got family members. Yes, they, they don't speak to me no more. Oops. They're waiting for me to pick up that straight shooter and, and smoke that pipe. They, they, they're codependent. And this is what I figured out. They're codependent because I was the major, um, I was the, I was the, 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 um, here goes my. They're like a captain of the. <laughs> I, I was the, I was the, um. Or the leader. No. Oh, okay. Let's just keep it moving. Let's, yes, that's correct. Yeah, I was all the all the mess in the family. Oh, and the black sheep was The black sheep, yes. I, mm-hmm. kept, I kept it going. I just kept everything going, and mm-hmm. if they now they don't have it, they don't have it no more. So if they if they can't keep it going, they gotta find something to keep it going. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, they're codependent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So going so. And they don't understand how I lost everything. I, I, I smoked up TVs. I smoked up cars. I smoked up washing machines. I smoked up clothes. I smoked up everything, everything. And everything I smoked up and shot up and sniffed up and, and did whatever, I have back and more. I own everything I have. I own my vehicle. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I own my, can't nobody come and repossess anything. They repossess living room sets. They repossess bedroom sets. They repossess cars. They repos- they took my house away. They took everything away. Everything. I had nothing. I had nothing. Mm-hmm. So I went from having nothing to not wanting anything. Like you can say, okay, what do you want for your birthday? What what can I? There's nothing I need. There's nothing I yeah. want. That's true. You know, so I'm at that point and, and, mm-hmm. and I never borrowed anything. I'm the lender, not the borrower. I'm above and not beneath. All you got to yeah. do is speak it in the atmosphere. What, you, you all serve the same God I serve. Mm-hmm. Or do you? You, yeah. you? you know what I'm saying? So if he did what, if he's doing what I do, what, 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 if he's doing for me what he's doing for me, what, what's going what are you on? doing different? What are you doing yeah, other right. different? Yes. Mm-hmm. My faith yeah. walk is so much more. Listen, he did this. He did this for me. He Amen. delivered me. He took this away from me. Mm-hmm. He got me out mm-hmm. of this black spot. Nothing. Yes, no. 
Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, God. yes, Lord. Amen, amen, Lord, amen. I amen. worship you. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Lord, we worship you. Yes, Lord, yes, God. yes. I thank you, God. You're so cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lord, yes. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes. 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 worship. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Nobody knows. Nobody yes. knows. Yes. Mm -hmm. knows where he brought me from. I've been yes. beat. Mm -hmm. beat. I've been shot at. I od several times. Mm. I went. I mm. OD'd. the man that I was with at the time. He was bringing me in the backyard. Him and his friend to leave mm. me in the backyard to die. And they took oh. my, my drugs, and they was gonna leave me in the backyard. And mm. if my brother didn't come and save my life, yeah, I would have been dead. Mm. Amen. But Betty, yeah. let me ask you one more thing here. Um. During those times, is there a day pass where you not get high? Huh? Is, is, is a day there pass? A, is a day pass that you never get high? Or no, every day you basically? Every day. I got there was times when I got high a month straight. Wow. Mm. I got high and didn't eat. I and and like during that month I might have got like five hours sleep. Oh my god! You know, wow. and, and that's, I OD'd. Mm -hmm. I went and I and I shot the rest of the coke. Mm. Mm -mm. I, wow! Yeah, I, I should be dead, but mm. God had a plan. He knew yeah. yes. yes, He had a plan for my life. Mm. But it, it's not going to be like that for everybody. Yes. that's right. That's right. And, and Some don't make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Beth and um, you know, a lot of persons watching may be saying, "Wow, this sounds like a movie. It sounds like something that should be out there." You actually went and you wrote a book about all these experiences, and I just want you to just get a copy of that book, hold that book up, hold it a little closer to the camera so they can see. It says, "Redemption from the crack house to God's house," amen. And this book is available on Amazon. And um, where are there any other platform is available on if you want to read her story? Um, definitely. Kindle, Amazon, and the, it was it the, the um the audio book is almost finished, but the the um, pandemic shut it down, so it just got to be edited since the city mm -hmm. opened back up. They should be working on it, editing it. Um, it should mm -hmm. be a couple of months i have books i'm on facebook beth ann codrington mm -hmm. you can inbox me i have plenty of books here you just inbox me and and um we'll get together and you know i got um yeah. cash app finding hope in god cash app finding hope in god and the book is 1995 and you just send it and i'll mail it to you you don't i pay shipping and handling so you don't have to, you know, with, with Amazon, you have to pay shipping and handling. But with me, you don't have to pay it. And I signed the copy. Okay. okay, okay. Um, one final thing. Um, I, I mean, I sent a, and that yeah. one, and that one as well. That yeah. was your first book. Yeah. In a smaller version. Just read, well, hold it back up. Let me see again. Um, just for you who believe in Christ. Okay. Just for you. Um, so um, finally, as we're, we're closing... One more time. I see Beth Ann looks a little frozen. Okay, there you go. So um, I know I know it's been a very emotional journey for you to share. And a lot of times when an author um, writes a book, there's a lot of information in the book that surprised a lot of people that they didn't know. Yeah. You know I, will, I remember when you did your book signing, I was one of the first persons in there. And I knew you for a few years um, mm -hmm. before you wrote the book. And when I got the book, I could not put it down. I mm -hmm. finished reading it the same night. And then it just gave me a look at you in a different light. Um, but for some persons that knew you, um, was there anybody that called you and said, oh, girl, I'm shocked. What is this? What is this? I did not know that about you. Persons yeah. maybe from your church or your ministry that yeah. called you and said. Oh, you didn't, you didn't go through that. How, but how do you know that? Oh. Saying, oh. and and if you have any questions about my life, call me and ask me. So stop saying that because you're my family, and people are going to be thinking I'm lying. 
See, I, they didn't know my life because they weren't around me. Wow. And, and, and they don't know that how, se- how severe the situation was. Mm-hmm. You know, so you don't, don't, you didn't walk my shoes. Stop it. Yes. You know, because they didn't expect me to be so raw and real. Mm-hmm. You know? So, yeah, there's people who be like, wow, this is, like nobody knew that I was shooting dope. Nobody knew I was shooting coke. Nobody knew I did dope. My husband didn't even know I was I was doing dope. Mm-hmm. Nobody nobody knew that. I didn't mm-hmm. let people see that part of me. All they thought I was doing was smoking crack. Like you can't see nothing on me. Like sometimes I would have bruises on me, but I don't God I don't have no tracks. And I was shooting. Wow. You know God mm-hmm. made it so that there's nothing here saying. Literally, yes, yes, that for sure. I did drugs for over thirty years. Yes. And I'll be 65 in like six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So God, God did this. He, Amen. he did all this. Amen. Amen. There's nothing here saying to God be the glory. Death Ann does have nothing to do with this. I did big and, and, and it's not 20 and 30 dollars worth. I actually took fifty thousand dollars from somebody. And was going back to get some more. And the Lord said, don't you dare. That's all I heard that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been living again. How long did it take you to smoke out the 50,000 or to use it? Probably around a, a month and a half or two months. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Just wow. like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like that. Just like that. Right. But Betty, and- I, the question I have, another question I have though, um, any of your friends that maybe used to do jobs with you are there you know anyone who have um make a transition to king to the kingdom of god anyone that got saved no no they're still doing it um oh my god one of my friends the other day one of the person the other day and they want to talk about um the past and i let them so I'm going to talk to them th- th- this week. And I'm going to say, oh, I let you talk about what you want to talk about. Now you're going to listen to what I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I let her do it. So, you know, because you got to go where they're at. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, okay, talk about what you want to talk about. So let me tell you about Jesus. And what Amen. He- yes. Yeah. So, so it, it, it is what it is. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's free will. It's mm-hmm. love of will. And people are hurt, people are broken, and people are church hurt because you know what? Let me explain something to you. I've been with pastors, I've been with bishops, I've been with police officers, I've been with, I've been on Beacon Hill. Okay, I've been with all types of, and and, and see, I ask, I, I, I do you still smoke crack? Sometimes, and they're like pastors and bishops and wow. <laughs> You, you, you know what I'm saying? So people don't mm-hmm. trust church. People don't trust Jesus because mm-hmm. they're saying mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And doing something else. And yeah, doing something, something else. else. Mm-hmm. Their wife would come home, be coming home and they would put me out in the street. Jeez. Ministers of the gospel. Wow. Wow. Clergy would put it in, 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 in Things that we used to do, mm-hmm. and I see them, and, and I'd be like, I see you. <laughs> you know, I'm on, I'd be on Facebook. I'd be like, yep, and you know who you are, and I see you. God just didn't tell me to, to, to expose you yet, but I see you. Mm-hmm. So, so Betty, I, I mean, that is striking. You know, that is very striking. As I said, bishop, oh, sure. ministers, um. Mm-hmm. So how do you how do you know how do you know work with you know a pastor because police officers people men in authority doctors lawyers I've been with I've been with them all been up on my mother's property in my house oh yeah mm-hmm. this is my book mm-hmm. wow yes definitely I've seen yeah the book is really 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 good so I you know that's why I like the rawness of of what you share because God has just strip it away and say, listen, give it to it raw. There is no frill about it. You know, I'm a minister and, and we have a bishop, but we know that not everybody is truly saying God. 
not everybody's truly doing yeah, the right the title, thing. But yes. And yeah, I have the title. And I know persons watching, maybe shaking their head. Oh, no, that's why I'm not into church. Not everybody's bad. Not mm -hmm. every pastor is bad. And not every platform would hide issues as these. Some will never discuss drug addiction. Some will never talk, use the word prostitute or certain words even in the forum. But we just want to understand that that is why we are from all angles. Because mm -hmm. we want people to know you don't have to be a Christian to even listen or watch this program. We, we're trying to get to you to understand that we get what you're going through. And we just want to be mm -hmm. the tool that God is using to reach you. But Pat, that's that's right. it. Exactly. Correct. This is I was with this man. He was a pimp. He was and, and, and he was one of my father's friends coming up. I knew he was a pimp. It's called the mint game. When when pimping's not easy no more, they get their license to preach and they go in the pulpit and they wow. pimp the people. It's called the mm. mint game. And that's why I'm 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 gonna wow. write a book next year called Pimps in the Pulpit. Oh my goodness. Mm. You know, so I did like, not know that. I did not know that at all. I know no, that no, wow. likewise. We had a lot of pillow talks and he was telling me he was teaching me the game. And, and, and I grew up with pimps and hoes and I know the game. Pimps mm. are in the pulpit. Mm. There's a lot of pimps and players in the pulpit and this is what's going on. Wow. Wow. You know, they, they don't care. God is going to get them. And, and this is what I'm here to tell the, tell the people that are afraid. No, look at me. Look at me. God will take care of you. He looks at your heart. When you're, when he looks at the sincerity of your heart, the pureness of your heart. Don't worry about it. He, he'll take care of them. He's going to take care of them. Because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. ask, I say, mm -hmm. oh, yes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. but you're a pet. What, what are you talking about? Yes. You know, so right. I I, I know God, they're gonna, but God is exposing. And why do you think these pastors are being the covers are being lifted up off of them and they're dying of COVID? They're doing God is cleaning up the place. Yes, wow. yeah. mm -hmm. God is cleaning up, and this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. yes. They say, Oh, Pastor so and so, Apostle so and so died. You, you know why? Because God gave him a chance and he didn't take it. Yes. You know, Betty, and this is a serious problem, I believe, throughout the world, the whole yes, matter of drug addiction. It's not the fun. Yes, and especially here, I think, in America. Yes. And um, I was just thinking, do you think the government or the country is doing enough, you know, as far as trying to, you know, curve um, drug addiction in this country? No, no, because I've been reaching out to the officials. I've been, I reached out to the mayor. I wrote her, I sent her a book. I wrote her several letters. They told me to email her. I emailed her a poem and I even talked to somebody in, in her in her um in her party and they said mm -hmm. they would get back to me about methadone mile. We call it miracle mile now. Nobody's reaching out to me. I even said I I called them and I told them that my sister has a um, pharmacist that has 2,000 vaccines that they could vaccine 2,000 people. They have Johnson and Johnson. And if we just get the addicts and, mm. and vaccine them with the one-time vaccine, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get that out the way. Nobody's, they don't care. I said, mm -hmm. I've been there. I know what they think. Yes. I know what they think. I said, mm. if you just get with me, and we, we can solve this. Yes. Mm. So you're willing to work. You're, you're available. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, available. You mm -hmm. Read my book. Listen, I was one of them. Right. They, they don't want. They don't want the help. I did it with Marty Walsh. I gave him a book. I told the commissioner. I told my uncle that was a police captain that the man raped me. He was at, and I seen him. He said, "Oh, he raped somebody else." I'm like, "Oh, so it's all right for the police officers to rape us?" Mm -hmm. you, you know. So this is why. Yeah. I keep don't trust people. Things are happening right. to us, mm -hmm. and they're sweeping it under the rug. How yes. dare you, you know, get upset and, and want to do this because they're, they're, they're starting to murder, they're starting to rob, they're starting to do this. You're allowing them to smoke crack, you're allowing them to shoot dope, you're allowing them to do it all in the streets. This comes along with doing all that. Mm -hmm. So if you're letting them do this, oh, it's getting, it may get worse. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is why we definitely have to bring it to God and have him right. you know, lead and direct us. But at this time, we definitely have to close our program. And I'm telling you, half an hour, our hour is just definitely not enough for all these issues. And we really want to get these issues out. We want somebody, we want somebody to really, really look at these I issues and say, help. yes, yes, I need help. If you need yeah. help, say you need help. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, God did it. God did it for right, you. Amen. Right, right. Amen. So um, as we close tonight, my name again is Minister Patricia Hansen. And now I'm my co-host is Bishop Dr. Everall Ainsley. And our special, special guest, Sister Beth Ann Codrington. I'm telling you, it was wonderful having you. But as we go, I just want to talk to someone watching this program that the Lord is able to do it for you. You yes. have not sunk so deep in a hole that God is not able to get you. Mm -hmm. You have not gone so far that God is not able to rescue you. There's mm -hmm. no drug addiction, no alcoholic addiction, no sex addiction, nothing that you have done that God will turn away from you. I just want you to know that there is help out there. And mm -hmm. for those that have watched the interviews, part one and part two, get a copy of the book. There is so much more that one hour or half an hour is not enough. But definitely she highlighted in her book from redemption from the crack house to god's house god bless you um bethan thank you for coming thank you bishop for joining me tonight right and before George, before you close though i mean maybe just give the viewers where they could make contact with us and of course yes, you know yes. right, please um if if you have any questions of any whole um any guests sorry that has been on the program you can email us us at from all angles 2021 at gmail.com you can send your comments you can send you know ask for information whatever you need you can email us as well as you can call 857-417-0811 and you can you know send a text or you can call directly and you will get whatever information you need our program will also be on youtube you can visit our page on youtube as well as on facebook Amen. Glory be to God. And we just want to thank you tonight for being with us and for joining us. And we're here to help. We're here to help. And we're please. here. We're mm -hmm. here. We're we here. also want to highlight quickly that we are professionals in the field, not just ministers and pastors. Um, Bishop Ainsley works with the homeless population, and I work with individuals with mental and developmental disabilities. So not only are we sitting in that seat, we're also sitting in the professional seat. And we also have um, individuals who we um, network with at whatever area in your life that you need help. If you need a counselor, whatever area in your life, there is somebody that we can attach to, um, you know, your life and get some form of help um, mm -hmm. for you. So it's not just um, spiritual help we're telling you. If you need physical help, we will be able to um, assist you in whatever area you need. So email us and call us at the um, From All Angles 2021 at gmail.com. God bless you all and thank you for viewing. God bless you all from Minister Hanson, Bishop Everall Ainsley, and our special guest, Beth Ann Codrington. God bless you.